Let's bring in our next guest from the White House, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders joins us now. Sarah, good evening to you. Uh, big election good night. Evening. We're waiting for a lot of these uh, results to come in. But how are folks at the White House feeling about this so far? So far, we feel good about where we are. Frankly, right now, the president's had an incredible night, uh, particularly when you look at Mike Braun. This was a candidate that uh, a lot of people had projected to lose, and not just lose by a little bit, lose by a lot. This is somebody the president just went in and closed the deal for last night. This was also somebody who had an incredibly tough primary and immediately following the primary the president came in unified the party brought them together and you're seeing the results of that hard work pay off tonight so far we feel good about where we are but still a long night to go what do you think about the house like what what is the thinking at the white house and and what numbers you're looking at um, right now uh, democrats need 23 they've picked up two um, and, and we have made a lot of calls along those lines uh, certainly the House is still early. One race to look at is Andy Barr of Kentucky. This was a race that a lot of people were saying was one to watch that could be one of the first indicators of what the night could look like that's been called. This is another race where the president went in. Uh, frankly, the candidates who have embraced the president uh, and the president has gone in to campaign for over the last several weeks are candidates that we're see doing very well tonight um, in those places and certainly feel good about where things are headed. But again, uh, very early in this process, but we feel very comfortable about where we are. Even James Carville, I think, said it best. Anybody that expected a blue wave tonight, probably not going to get that. And I think that is 100 percent due to the president's leadership and the success that he's had in the first two years since taking office. He's had unprecedented success and you're seeing a lot of that payoff and you're seeing Americans come out and unanimously say that they are proud of this president and proud of what he's done in these two years. Sarah, thoughts on Florida. Uh, obviously, the president put his weight behind Ron DeSantis, uh, really helped him to win the primary there in a big way. Tight race there uh, for the governor's race and also for the Senate right now. Uh, again, that's an extremely close race. This is a place uh, where people said that there was no way uh, Republicans could take either of those seats. And certainly if they do, I think that a lot of the credit will go to the president who's been in to campaign for them, but uh, still very close and a, a little bit of time left to see what happens there. So our last thing, we had former uh, Pennsylvania Governor Ed Randell on earlier, uh, Democrat from Pennsylvania. He said if Democrats pick up the House, and that's still an if as of tonight, um, right now, that, that they should legislate, 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 and not investigate, investigate, investigate. Do you think that that would happen if Democrats take over the House? I think that's what should happen. I think that's what America wants to see. Look, we have a president that's willing to work across the aisle to get things done. Uh, we feel good about where we are in the Senate, but if Democrats take the House, uh, they shouldn't waste time investigating. Uh, they should focus on what the people have put them there to do. There are a lot of things that the president would love to work with them on, and hopefully they'll come to the table and be willing to do that and not continue to be the party of resist and obstruct, but want to actually work with this president uh, to solve some of the big problems that we've been leading on over the last two years. Sarah, there's been a lot of discussion about the, that the president didn't campaign hard enough on the issue of the economy. Even he said at one point at one of the rallies, you know, sometimes the economy is not the most interesting thing to talk about. Um, he really went in uh, very intensely on the issue of the caravan and immigration. Is he feeling good about that decision right now? Uh, look, the president talked about the economy constantly. The problem was the media didn't want to cover the economy. It's the first time you'd ever have a booming economy, and they say you guys didn't talk about it enough. We talked about the economy uh, every single day. We're going to continue to because it's going to continue to do well under this president because of the tax cuts, because of deregulation. We've seen an economic boom like we haven't seen in decades, and I think you're seeing that reflected uh, certainly in the Senate votes uh, tonight as well as the president's fight to get get uh, Justice Kavanaugh on the bench. I think those are two big factors in the president's leadership that you're seeing play out on the election. Sarah tonight. Sanders, uh, live on the North Lawn of the White House. Sarah, thank you. We appreciate your time.